Hi, I'm Jim. And I'm Craig. Welcome to the Battery Shop. Today we're going to be working on this 2021 Ford F-150. The battery is located right here under the hood and it's fairly easy to get to. But before we begin, check with the manufacturer's step-by-step -step instructions to make sure you're familiar with the project, you have everything you need, you don't forget anything, and can safely and efficiently replace a battery in a vehicle like this. Here's how it's done. We always recommend that you use gloves and safety glasses when you're working on and around batteries. Safety first. This particular vehicle has a lot of computers and if I disconnect the battery without using something to keep the computer's memories alive, there may be a lot of reset procedures that we may have to do and might even need some special tools for that. So we like to use a memory saver. And in this case, it's just jumper cables connected to another car battery. And so what I'm going to do is connect, I've already got the positive one connected. Now I'm just going to connect the negative one to the cable. And now when I disconnect the cables from the battery, the vehicle still has plenty of power to keep all the computer's memories alive. We don't have to worry about any resets. The first step is to remove the negative battery cable from the negative battery terminal. For that, you'll need a 10 millimeter wrench. and then remove the positive battery cable from the positive battery terminal. Again, you'll need a 10 millimeter wrench for that. The next step is to remove the battery hold down clamp. You'll need an eight millimeter wrench for that. And now we can remove the old battery and its heat shield. And install the replacement battery and heat shield. The next step is to reinstall the battery hold down clamp. And tighten the fastener. It's always a good idea to clean up any corrosion on your battery terminals. And your cable connections. Next, reinstall the positive battery cable onto the positive battery terminal. But don't pound these clamps on, as that can cause internal battery damage and tighten the fastener. Then, reinstall the negative battery cable onto the negative battery terminal. And tighten the fastener. And finally, we can remove our memory saving jumper cables And we're done.